Hello again, it's Priscilla about Sal in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with three pans and some ideas. I'm going to put some white metallic from Anita's in the bottom of all of my pans. That one's empty now. And some colors that are similar to each other. Very similar in that case. I'm not sure about this one. Maybe I'll wait on that. <laughs> that was more Anita's. If you need the name of a color, please just feel free to ask me. That was an amethyst from Artist Loft. This is a neon from Folk Art. It's also matte, which is kind of strange. I bought it by accident. That is a um, <laughs> iridescent pearl fine added into a neon purple from Folk Art. And now I'm going to move on. And give myself more colors. I may add more colors as I go along also. Some of these are very similar to each other, which is okay. It's going to give me a chance to change up my my palette. Some of them haven't been used in a while either. I have to remember when I use a shovel I only basically get whatever's on the edge. That might have been a mistake. Hopefully not. I'm looking. I think I am going to put some of that red in there. And then I'm going to do, that's the color shifting turquoise flash. I think it's a flash. There's some turquoise with iridescent pearl fine mixed into it. There's my green gold from Folk Art. I really, really like a little purple with my green. And in this case, I think I'm going to throw some blue in here. And I might, oh boy, do I really want to throw red in there? I don't know. I'll put some drink down at this end and see if it's, yeah, actually, I do. I like it. Now I could also throw a little bit of black in there. This one's my favorite so far. That's some peacock. I think I want a little more purple in there. Or a lot some of my bottles out of the way. Think about whether I wanted some gold in anything or some silver in anything. And I've got some iridescent pearl fine gold or iridescent gold from Golden. And I've got some iridescent pink that was left over from so long ago I don't even remember who made it and I know I can't buy any more of it because I think it was at the time when Modern Masters was making a brand that's no longer available. All right, so do I want some black? I might put a little bit of black in here. I might want some white in something too. Let's move those down. I think I want something else in here. I've got another color orange. That's a good color orange. I'm not sure I'm done with that red yet. Or that yellow. Maybe a little more white. This will be interesting. I do have three shovels and I should probably have them all out so I don't have to mix my colors. But I also thought it might be kind of cool to mix colors one to the next. Not that I'm really overly satisfied with... I'm just going to go crazy over the purple one. Here is a 12 inch by 24 inch pre-prime canvas and I know it's going to go there first. I'm going to grab some paint from my shovel and I'm just going to start to fill in. I'm going to grab a little more paint from my shovel.
And I've got a little more there, so I think I'm... Kind of stop right there. Coming from the other end. Oh, I like the orange in there. I should put more orange in there. That's interesting. I see something rather large that needs to get evicted. Yeah, and it was too. So I like the orange in this here, so I'm going to throw some in. And what else do I like? I like some of the Venetian blue added into the green. So I'm just going to do that too. This is mostly for my art therapy and for my own entertainment. Now it's time to take a risk and go for the yellow, which I think might be pretty cool actually. I'm gonna lay fairly heavy layer. Down right there. I was thinking as I was doing that that I wanted to tip it. But I'm not sure if that's a really good idea or not. So let's go down over the end at least. And see what happens if we tip it this way. Cool. Everything is flowing. So let's go back to the shovel of the one that I put the blue in and I'm gonna put some more blue in there and a little more turquoise. And I think I have another blue color that I want that I do not see readily available, but I know it is here. Well, this is not it, but it'll work for right now. I have never tried to mix three pans of color at once. I'm not sure it's my best idea, but it's, I'm still not sure it's my worst idea either. I'm gonna throw a little more purple. I really want that color I'm missing, which is the Anita's, there it is, the Anita's white metallic with a little bit of the, the blue added to it. That's Venetian. And I'm gonna take some of that purple that's neon that has iridescent pearl fine in it and grab some of that now. And I'm almost out of that color which is I guess okay. I really want once a puddle and then tip it and have it move but at this point I think everything is going to move so I'm not sure it's my best plan but it did it went Let's see if I can keep my bottles out of the way 
grab a little bit more of that. So far so good or bad, I'm not sure which. It makes me want to grab a small scoop, but I'm not sure I see any very handy. So what else would I want to grab? I could grab a small spatula. I always wanted to do all of these things. Just building blocks. That's kind of cool. I think it's time for the yellow though, or the orange, whatever you want to call it. Scrape that back off. Get right back into that. It could take a while. I could do this for hours, I think. Just because it's fun. And I love the black, the drama of the black background sort of does it for me. I think it's almost time to get back to purple. Purple down! This is so different. And that is what I was looking for. I was looking to just change things up. And play with stuff. See what we can shovel into place. I want to go over here. Without running into bottles. If you'd have told me I was going to do that, I wouldn't have agreed with you. That's kind of neat. Sorry if I'm out of your sight. It's a strange one for sure, but I do learn stuff, new stuff every time. I need a whole bunch more green and blue. That's kind of neat. I kind of want to make a point out of that. I'm not sure if I can or not. I do think if I run a skewer down the edge, I can just widen it a tad. What else do I want? I want to put some more of the magenta. And some of that hot pink or neon pink as the case may be. I 
Hoping everything doesn't want to move all at once. But I'm pretty sure it's going. To move where it wants to. Just using a skewer to sort of motivate some paint very gently into those jagged little spots. Now I've got a thumbprint over here that I want to go away. I'm not sure this is my best, but then it's sort of a first of its kind, so I'm not going to freak out too bad about that. I do have two minutes left to tell you guys I do sell my artwork. And if you're interested, look for the email address below the link tree that's right under the video. These little silicone tools are on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is also in the link tree. If you shop there, it's at no added cost to you and it helps me out. And I really appreciate it very much. You can find them on this in the same area as my two books because I can in unlimited possibilities. Actually, tools might be different or it might not. <laughs> you might want to have a look. If you need to ask me a question at any point in time about my stuff, please feel free to go ahead. This is just extremely different than most things I've ever done because I'm actually making marks with the fluid paint. So I have over 1,900 videos organized on lists of 100, 19 lists of 100, and by topic and genre. And if you need something and you can't find it, please feel free to ask me. If you give me a thumbs up, it cheers me up some. And uh, your comments definitely make my day most of the time, so thank you for keeping my morale boosted. It's not that easy of a thing once you decide that this is going to be your job. Because the competition is rough. Unless, of course, you're a team player. In which case, you're doing quite well with all your friends. And I'm not one of them. Oh boy. There I go. Being weird again. All right, so there's like a minute left, and what do I have for colors left? I don't have any of the blue left. And I'm not sure I have what you'd call a balanced design. That's one minute. So there is a drawing on the end screen of every video. There is an exhibition video on the end screen of every video that has a monthly drawing and shares with you what the monthly prizes are for that drawing. And if you'd like to be in it, you get automatically entered should you happen to be a contributor through PayPal or Patreon. You can find those icons on the bottom right-hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. And I am not sure what's going to happen with this. It kind of needs, like, something to fill in that's neat. And I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> but this is not it. So it is what it is. And uh, it's a start, I guess. I love you guys. There's over... 93,000 or there's within 50 of 93,000 or so. That worked. That was better. I think I could do that a bunch of places and have it be okay. So that's that's my new plan. Is to just see you anon. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery.